Yes, you! You want to know if you have a male or female tarantula? In the spider breeding community, there is a very popular word that is commonly used if someone wants to check if they have a male or female tarantula. Unfortunately, I can't use this word here on this platform. Henceforth, I will use the word badonka donkey. There are certain methods. Oh, this teeth! <laughs> there are certain methods of badonka donking tarantulas, ranging from easy to hard, but also varying from reliable and unreliable. And I hope with this video to give you like an overlook which method of badonka donking is the best and the easiest and a mix of both. So maybe in the start let's take a look how an adult male looks because adult males are very easy to identify. Identify. Identify, identify. Identify. You need to drop the T. Identified because tarantula. Tarantula. So how to spot a male? The first indicator before taking a very very close look is that the abdomen is a lot smaller and the tarantula is slimmer. To be 100% sure that you have a male tarantula you need to look for two signs. One is necessary for it to be adult, the other one is optional. Some species don't have this. The necessary thing we see, I try to show like right here, the small leggies, the so-called pedipalps, they are round in the end. And if you take a closer look, they have like a hidden hook. This is the so-called pedipal bulb, so an outside organ that the spider uses to put sperm into the female. The second thing to look for, sometimes it's not present, but most tarantulas have it. When you see at the first leg pair here, it's visible right here, this is the so-called tibial hook. The male uses this to hold on the female while he is pairing with her, so he has more control over the female. And those are the signs that you have, in fact, 100% a male. Thank you for cooperation. By the way, this is a Tlirtocatle vagans so-called angry brachypelma or angry trito cattle they definitely have quite a feisty nature the first method we are talking about is something called ventral badonka donking in which we just take a look at the underside of the tarantula we can do that by either looking through a glass pane or sometimes even grab the tarantula look at the underside and sometimes help each other with an uh, additional tool, for example, tweezers. So here's our small test subject, um, just to show you how to grab a spider. This one is pretty docile, so there should not be any problem. So you grab the spider between the second and leg, third leg pair. Now you can Now you can lift the spider. You take an additional tool. There is a lip. You see? It opens, which means we have a female. It's barely visible, probably, with the species, but this is 100% a female. On the ground, finger up. Boom. And the spider should be fine. It's a bit shaken. As you can see, no harm was done. Please, 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 please keep in mind that this method is mostly suitable for docile species or like commonly called docile species. There are experts out there who can do that with more aggressive and faster tarantulas, but why risk it? There are different ways how you can check how to badonka donka tarantula. The word ventral badonka donking doesn't come from taking the spider out of the enclosure by fingers or 
tweezers, sometimes just a simple look at the ventral, so the underside of the tarantula is enough, just like in this case. You see this little line here. This is big enough, so we can just simply say that this is a female and a look at the top of the enclosure confirms that since we checked this spider before through a mold. This is a beautiful female Iberapora diversipes named Piola. If this would be a male, I'll try to find a male that is like positioned like this spider here. In this place would be a dot, a black dot, since there is no need for a spermatheca for a male tarantula. The other method, which is usually the most reliable one, is to check the mold of the tarantula that we want to badonkadonk. This can be the easiest and the hardest method, depending on the size of the tarantula. I want to give you some examples how to do that. So, for the mold checking, first of all, we'll use this mold of a Brachypelma hamori. I know that this is a male, so this is a kind of an unfair advantage, but we can at least confirm that. And I'll show you also an example how a female tarantula should look after you spread everything out. So let's say we want to badonkadonk a tarantula and be 100% sure through checking the mold. The part that is interesting us is inside the leftover of the skin of the abdomen. But the whole mold is crispy and crunchy. For big tarantulas, I mostly do something like this. I also use this to prepare molds for mounting. So I take a bit of kitchen tissue. Now I give this a healthy spritz of water. I put the mold inside. More water, so everything Everything is getting nice and soft. Close that so the humidity is high and we leave that for a few hours. Okay, so here's the mold of the Brachypelma hamori. Let's try to spread. Also, this is a good preparation for uh, taxidermy. So the mold softened up quite a bit. And what we're going to do now, we are unfolding this mold, so we see the situation here between the book lungs. Well, I can already see that this is a male. If this would have been a female, right here in the middle, in this spot here, we would have seen a spermatheca, but we can only see this pseudo flap in the middle, the, the dot. So this is exactly what we are looking for if we are looking for a female. You see this flap here. This is the spermatheca and this is a 100% sign that we have actually a female. Also this mold looks kind of cool. The second mold we will try to check is this small Psalmopeus victori. So as you can see this is like an L5, L6 and in order to check that we need one additional tool. We need a microscope. So in order to check if we have a male or female spiderling we need to have a few tools. The most obvious one is of course a microscope. The second one we need to have two needles in order to unfold the abdomen skin of the tarantula. Another thing that we need is a bath full of warm water with some soap or dish soap inside and we need something where we can spread the mold on. In this case this is a piece of plastic needs to be translucent because we will slide this under the microscope and then we check what is going on there. So as you can see <laughs> there's a lot of stuff involved if you want to check the modes of spiderlings. 
if you want to check if you have males or females. That's why a lot of keepers, especially beginner keepers, don't have this opportunity. Nonetheless, it's worth to know how to do it, how to check it. It's quite an experience and I'll show you how to do it. This is mode number four. We number our mold so we can write down which sling is which mold. So in this case, we'll know if we have a male or female Psalmopoulos Victory sling. We take the mold, we plop it into the warm dish soap water. Now we let this soak for like 20, 30 seconds and then we'll check. So what is happening here, the dish soap is reducing the surface tension of the water so the whole mold can get wet and unfold after that. So let's take this one out. This was like 40 seconds and we put that on the piece of plastic. Theoretically, you could also use a piece of glass as long as it's translucent and you can look through it under the microscope. Now what we do, we have those two needles and with those needles we will try to open the abdomen. So here is the abdomen. There we go. It should look a bit like this and this mold goes straight under the microscope. Just be prepared that maybe maybe you won't see what you are actually looking for. Woo! Female! <laughs> so here is the view from the ocular. You see those two dark spots. This is what we were looking for. This is the spermathica so we can confirm that this is in fact a female. Pretty exciting. Uh, with males we wouldn't find this. We would just see a blank spot between the two book lungs and in that case we would just be angry that we have a male. But in this case we have a female. I hope that this small video that you watched right now is of some help for you. The thing is, checking if you have a male or female tarantula is a skill that is vastly dependent on experience and sometimes a small dose of luck because even if you're very experienced you can still make a mistake and sometimes that's painful but that's part of this hobby and that's a beautiful part of this hobby it's a beautiful thing that we are constantly learning if you like what you saw and don't want to miss the next video full of exotic pets consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, thank you for watching. Taranto Hala out. It's not the knowledge that we strive for, it's the last for knowledge. That's the cool thing. The camera's still rolling. Oops! Oh. <laughs>